Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, we are just uh, waiting a couple minutes for some of our elder mentors to log in and then we'll get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, Bedatsai. Oh, good. Oh, oh, get on and get We're so happy that you've given us a, a good day and given us all the things that we need to continue. And glad that everyone can come here that has checked in here. Uh, going into the Kiowa language. Um, thank you for helping us with everything that we all ever do. Our whole day get on top. Thank you for everything, dear Lord. Aho, obaho. Aho. Aho. Awesome. All right. Well, let's um, dig in here. So I sent out a um, a syllabus for the fall uh, 2024 semester for our sessions just to kind of provide us with some structure and because that way people know what to expect each week um, in case people have questions. And especially since we have a new uh, cohort of teacher candidates that um, are starting with the Kiowa language department, and we wanna make sure that they also have um, some resources and things to help them get started. So. Um, I did send that out. So I wanted to take a minute to take a look at the syllabus right now and just kind of uh, talk through it real quick with everyone. Um, so let me share my screen. And I did email it. And then I also um, put it in the Google Drive and I shared the link. Um, so hopefully you're able to see it. And if you want to print it off, hopefully it's uh, easy for you to print off. Okay. I so, hope. Yeah, I printed it. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, good to hear. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you see my screen? Oh, awesome. Okay. So fall 2024. So these sessions on Wednesday evenings are for level one and level two prep. So for Kiowa language teacher candidates who are interested in becoming credentialed at level one um, or who are already credentialed at level one and want to work towards level two credentialing. And so uh, here is the information, um, just in case you printed it off um, or you have a computer and you wanna join on your phone. I did put QR codes in here. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for people uh, to access the Zoom link. Um, it's the same Zoom link. So for our mentors, it's the same um, Zoom link that we've been using for Wednesdays. So hopefully that will make it pretty simple. Um, there's some information, how to get a hold of me if you have questions about anything that we go over in our sessions. Um, our goals for participants um, for this fall are to offer an opportunity through these Wednesday evening Zoom sessions for Kiowa language learners to become more proficient in conversational Kiowa at level one and level two. And essentially we are building a Kiowa language community of second language speakers. And we are so blessed because we have our mentors here who uh, give their time uh, to support us in this journey as well. And another goal is to facilitate opportunities for us to have Kiowa language immersion sessions for Kiowa language learners to expand their conversational Kiowa skills. So we want to give ourselves time to actually practice speaking. 
And then we also want to have an opportunity for our Kiowa language learners. So these would be our teacher candidates um, to ask for translations of any Kiowa language that you uh, want to use. Maybe you're working on a lesson plan or an activity and you're trying to come up with a translation and you want to check to see if you've translated it correctly or if you want to ask, how would we say it? Um, so this all that's also an opportunity. And then we also want to have opportunities for our elders and our fluent Kiowa speakers to share their stories, their memories, their history with us, and anything that they would like to share with us. So like I said, we really appreciate our mentors being available and on these sessions. Um, so all the resources for the sessions can be found on the learnkiowa.org website. There's a QR code if you need to get to the homepage. Um, and then the lessons that we're going to be using uh, this fall that are were developed with the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board, um, all of that curriculum, it's going to be available on the adult learning page of Learn Kiowa. And so there's a QR code to get to that page, as well as the link. Um, here's the format of our sessions. So we're going to always start with kind of a welcome and check in, and then we'll do our opening prayer. We'll go over our lesson for the day, and then we'll get into some practice, and our mentors will be able to give us some feedback on whether we're on the right track, uh, how we can uh, correct ourselves. Um, there'll always be an opportunity for questions and answers. So as you are doing your independent study of Kiowa of throughout the week, if you think of something or you need to ask a mentor, please feel free to jot down your questions and bring your questions to the Wednesday sessions. And we will always um, have time uh, for you to ask any questions that you have um, of our mentors here. And then we'll also do a preview of our next lesson. And then also if there's any homework or anything that we should focus on to prepare for the next week. And then we do our closing prayer and then we wrap up. So that's generally the format that we follow. Um, if you really want to know what time everything is gonna happen, this is kind of roughly the agenda that we're gonna follow um, for our Wednesday sessions. So there's always gonna be an opportunity to get uh, some pronunciation practice and for our elder mentors to give us each individual feedback and also feedback as a group. Um, so that's what this is. And every four lessons, so after we have gone through four lessons at a time, uh, we're going to actually spend one of our sessions on Wednesdays in an immersion session, which means after we do our opening prayer and questions and answer session, instead of doing a lesson and doing some like scripted conversation, we're going to actually do a language immersion session. And so we'll use a set of lessons which will have target phrases that we can use. And the goal of the immersion sessions is to get us all to speak in Kiowa and basically no English is allowed when we're doing our immersion. Uh, we wanna you know, just speak with each other just in Kiowa. And um, so it's time to, it's an opportunity to practice that. Um, so, and don't worry, we'll be, we'll prepare for those. Uh, we've done these before um, over the past several years on Zoom and it gets, it gets really fun. It's a lot of fun and it can get kind of hilarious also. Um, so it's, it's um, something to look forward to every four lessons. All right. And then after the agenda, you'll see there's a weekly session schedule and on the uh, schedule, you'll see every time that we have a resource, there's also a QR code that is provided along with the hyperlink to the webpage for that resource. So for instance, today, um, I wanted us to kind of start with kind of a review of our Kiowa sounds and pronunciation. And there's a resource that uh, the credentialing board recommends us. Um, and actually it's part of the requirements for credentialing to be able to pronounce um, those initial sounds. And so we'll go over that tonight. And we're also gonna start looking at our Kiowa help phrases and talk about that. So if you want to uh, specifically, um, for instance, um, review those resources, you can click on the link, or if you printed this off, you can use your QR code. 
Um, I will say that the QR code um, up top by the sounds and pronunciation, that will link you to the YouTube video. It's actually one of the required uh, professional development training modules uh, for uh, the level one certification on the checklist. So if by watching that video, you'll actually complete one of the modules. Um, and I, we recommend that video because it's an overview of the sounds of Kiowa. And during that video, um, there's also some practice that, that happens. So you can play the video and then you can practice right along with the candidates that are in the video. Um, so that's a note for the sounds and pronunciation. And then the uh, help phrases overview, you can click on that link to go to that resource page, or you can use the QR code. And then all the sessions kind of go down from there. So next week, for instance, we'll be continuing to practice our Kiowa help phrases. And then by August 14th, that's when we'll get into lesson one. And how this is structured this fall is we'll do an overview and kind of some preliminary practice for each lesson one week. And then the second week, we do some more in-depth practice uh, on that lesson. So the way each lesson is structured, there is a set of target phrases. So questions or statements and then responses that we need to practice with each other. Um, and then all along the way, our mentors will be able to give us some feedback so that we can practice um, and continue to, continue to develop our skills. And so then we just scroll down through the fall semester here. You can see there's QR codes on the side that will take you to that particular lesson and the resources. So just so everyone knows, our first immersion session for this fall will be Wednesday, October 9th. And we're going to use lessons one through four as our practice um, for that immersion session. So along the way, we'll be practicing um, lessons one through four. And then in session 11 on October 9th, we'll get to do our immersion session using those the language from lessons one through four. And then we continue on into October with lessons five, six, and seven in November. And then we get to lesson eight in December. And then on Wednesday, December 11th will be our second immersion session. Um, and so we'll be doing uh, lessons five through eight. And then on Wednesday, December 18th, we're going to have um, kind of our holiday Christmas celebration uh, session. We'll post some resources um, as they're available um, as we get closer to that date. Um, we do have some uh, Christmas hymns and things like that that we enjoy sharing and practicing and singing together. So um, we like to do a kind of a holiday celebration session in December. And so December 18th, that will be our last session for the fall. And then we'll do our Christmas break. And then we'll start our sessions again on January 8th. So that's the fall. That's the plan for this fall. And some of you asked last week about our Sunday sessions. And so we wanted to share that for um, anyone, anyone is invited to these, our Sunday sessions, we'll start having them um, on Sunday, August 11th will be our first one. And that'll be from three to 5 p.m. Central Time. And those are also recorded. And what we do is we usually listen to a recording Sometimes we uh, listen to uh, Kiowa hymn recordings or recordings from the uh, Indians for Indians uh, radio program, um, which there's a lot of archives of those. And most uh, frequently we listen to the Kiowa cultural program recordings, which those are some amazing recordings that uh, basically it's um, a group of Kiowa elders who are fluent speakers and they identify different topics every week. And they spoke about a certain topic and shared their knowledge about that topic um, all in our language. So those uh, Kiowa Culture Program recordings um, are just such an amazing resource that we have as a people. And we'll be able to listen to those. There's hundreds of them. There's over 200 recordings. And each of them, they range from anywhere from like seven minutes to an hour and a half long. Um, and it's just amazing. So 
what we do is when we listen to those recordings, depending on the topic, um, we'll listen to it. And then after each of the speakers on the recording, since they're speaking in Kiowa, we'll have our elder mentors take turns and they'll share their interpretation and sometimes translations of what the speaker is saying in the recording. So it's a really uh, fun, those are fun sessions. And um, I know that a lot of our mentors are very interested in starting those up again this fall because we kind of took a break for this summer. So we will start on Sunday, August 11th for our Sunday sessions. And the Zoom link, it's gonna be the same one um, that you might've had on your calendar for the spring, um, but it's all right here. You can click on that QR code. It'll take you to the Zoom link for the Sunday sessions. And so that is what we're gonna use. And then here's the little schedule of when they'll start. And then if you wanna call in on your phone, there's information as well if you're not able to join on a computer. All right, so that's an overview of our syllabus. Does anyone have any questions, comments, or reflections on this? All right. Well, if you think of something, um, feel free to put it in the chat box so we can address any question that you might have. Hello, Judy, welcome. We are just going over our, we just went finished going over our syllabus for the fall sessions. So if you have any questions, I did email it and um, it's a PDF and I put it in our Google Drive. So let me know if you have any questions on it. All right, so let's see here. Um, so let me go to our little agenda here. Um, let's see, so we want to start today with talking about Kiowa pronunciation. Um, so let me pull up that handout. Okay, um, so just out of curiosity, before we get into the pronunciation, I first wanted to see, I know we have some of our um, our mentors are also our Kiowa Credentialing Board members. I just wanted to see if uh, Grandma Marty or Miss Velma, if you have any uh, updates or anything you'd like to share on behalf of the Credentialing Board before we get started. We had a meeting uh, on Monday, and uh, two 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 individuals. Uh, 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 let's see. One was um, uh, one was on conversation, and the other was oh gosh, what was the other one? Oh, gosh, I can't. Martha, do you remember what the other one was? Well, one did the uh, uh, recordings on, uh, just showed us that they finished their stories. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that one and then the other one was, the other one was conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And th those were the only two that showed up. There weren't, no one else showed up. So it kind of concerns all of us, I think, that uh, people are not, especially those that are going to be teaching this fall, they need to uh, get that, um, get level, at least get through level one to get sort of, to get credentialed. So oh. there was a long discussion on that. And uh, uh, I think that was one of the main, one of the main, uh, things we discussed or talked about. And then we're planning to, as a, as a board, planning to uh, meet with our, our director, our language director, and then with our, the tribe, 
because we are, we're left out of the loop. We don't even know, like, things are discussed and decided, and then we're, we're, we just hear about it later on. So we kind of think that we should be included in, you know, some of the, the planning or, you know, so. Oh. What else, Martha? <laughs> <laughs> I think you covered it pretty good. Um, hopefully we can get in that loop because it's kind of crazy when you hear something much later on and you didn't even know that it was happening, you know, so we're trying to uh, curb it so we can, uh, be in that loop and and they know our side and we know their side that that type of thing oh that's important mm -hmm. well hopefully um you know you'll get some good updates going and get some good uh communication going soon well that's good you had a couple a couple candidates show up um was there any discussion on when another credentialing session would be scheduled? We haven't set a time yet. We haven't set a time on the next meeting yet. I think after we meet with the director, then we'll be able to pick a time for that. Oh, that makes sense. And our meeting with her is next week, I think on the 8th. Oh, well, that's good. That's coming up. Yeah, real close. Awesome. Well, that's good. Um, I'm glad there were, you had a couple that came in and um, were working uh, towards theirs. Uh, that's another thing I could, I should mention is that um, during our Wednesday sessions, if anyone is working on their, on their credentialing and you want to work with one of our mentors, uh, we can create breakout rooms in Zoom. And so you you and one of the mentors can go into a breakout room and actually work on whatever it is you need to work on for that credentialing. I know we've even had uh, some testing. What turn it off? I just had to put it on. I had to melt the butter in there. We're hearing... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's turn it off. Just turn it off. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we can do breakout rooms, so that's an option uh, for anyone who is working on their credentialing. Um, if we have our mentors or credentialing board members, um, if they're available and able to do that as well. So, all right. Well, thank you. Aho, thank you for those updates uh, from our credentialing board. We'll look forward to hearing um, in a couple weeks um, how it goes. So... Uh, let's see. Before we jump into the lesson, does anyone have any questions for either of our any of our mentors? We have Miss Marion, we have Grandma Marthanelle, and then we have Miss Velma. When do y'all think would be the best time to like start the men like the end of one on one mentor? Would it be like the beginning of the class or like after we're done with the lesson, then we can go into the sessions with the mentors? Yeah, that's what we used to do um, previously was we would kind of go through our practice and then we would have breakout rooms. And so there'd be at least 30 minutes um, in a session to be able to go in with, with a, a mentor and work on whatever it is that you wanted to work on specifically. So okay. usually we do those at the end, but um, you know we're flexible. We can also do it, you know, if, if maybe you already know the lesson and you feel comfortable with it, then and one of the mentors is like available, then we could create a breakout room. So that would be happening simultaneously. So okay. yeah, we're pretty flexible. <laughs> Thank you. Good question. All right. Any other questions? Okay, so let's go over our pronunciation handout that we had on the, um, and like I said, uh, we're not going to watch it together, but um, for anyone who's just starting, um, it is strongly recommended that you listen, that you watch that um, Sounds of Kiowa video that's in the syllabus, um, and then practice along with it. 
And it kind of corresponds a little bit to this handout that we're about to look at too. So put it on your list of things to do uh, when you have time. Okay, let me find our... I don't know if that's too... Can you see my screen again? Yes. All right, awesome. Miss um, Velma, we're getting some background noise. I'm going to mute. Okay, awesome. Aho. All right, so here we have, this is a pronunciation handout. This is part of, this is in the credentialing folder, uh, in the credentialing resources. Um, so these are words that you would need to read and record out loud. So you'd record yourself saying these with the correct pronunciation in order to get credentialed for level one. So these are uh, words to practice and it goes by letter of the Kiowa alphabet here in this first column on the left. So you see the letter and then it tells you whether or not um, there's kind of a similar pronunciation in English. And then it goes through the words that have that sound in it that we need to pronounce and record for the credit to be credentialed for level one. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down. It is four pages, this handout. So the first page is all vowels, Kiowa vowels. The second page is Kiowa vowels with nasal. So our vowels are what are nasalized in Kiowa when we're speaking. And the nasal sound is something that is very unique to Kiowa. It, there's not an English equivalent. So it is something that for new speakers, for new learners, it's something that we have to practice a lot. Um, I will say that uh, neuroscience research and language acquisition research has found that someone who's learning a second language um, other than their first language, um, they do need to say something over 400 times in order for it to become fluent into our brain. So in order for, to build those neural connections between neurons in our brain, as we're learning a new sound, a new word, a new phrase, a new sentence, um, we have to say it over 400 times before we're considered fluent and before it becomes natural to us. So given that, that's why we, we emphasize repetition on everything and redundancy. So you can never say something um, too much because every time you say it um, and you correct yourself, you listen to the mentors give feedback. Um, it's really, um, every time you say it is gonna help you get it fluent and kind of solidify that neural connection in your brain. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so this that's the second page. And then we have um, differentiating between the consonants that, so in Kiowa, um, some of our consonants um, have a different sound than there is in English. So it's really important to be able to um, say the sounds of the consonants um, in Kiowa so that, uh, you know, we're able to be understood by a fluent speaker. Um, so this is this page, the third page is all about the consonants and then also talks about uh, what the colon means and what's that mean what, for when you elongate a sound, when you draw out a vowel sound and what that sounds like. And then also practicing the differences between um, sounds in Kiowa that sound very similar to each other, but are not the same. And then finally on the fourth page is a list of commonly mispronounced words and phrases. So Sometimes you'll hear people say it um, like how it's um, written over here on the right hand side, but you want to make sure that you say it to be able to un be understood by a Kiowa speaker. We want to say it, um, the, this list on the left side. That's how you actually say it. 
Um, so those are important phrases that often get mispronounced and therefore, uh, you know, get misunderstood because when you mispronounce something in Kiowa, it either doesn't make any sense or it could, you could be saying a completely different word and then it just throws off the meaning of what you're trying to say. So pronunciation is very, very, very important in our language. All right. So uh, does anyone have any questions about the handout overall before we start practicing? This is in the adult learning packet or? Yes, it, so it is, it's in the syllabus. So if you open the syllabus on your computer um, and you go to, I forget what page, um, it's the page with a uh, week, I think it's session one, July 31st date. You'll see a little hyperlink that says, um, here I can show you, let me see, it says um, uh, pronunciation. Where's the syllabus? Here we go. So it's on page, uh, page four. So on page four, if you, so the first link is the YouTube video for the sounds. And then by clicking on this, on the second link, the handout, um, you should see a pop up. Yeah, print the PDF out, right? Yes, yes. You can print the PDF. Um, so um, Angie, let me know if you're able to access it. I could also email it to you directly if you want to. I'm checking right now. Um, okay, yes. awesome. The syllabus is 10 pages and the your thing right there, the PDF is four. Yes, I got it. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Thank cool. You. So that's a good one to uh, practice. Um, just kind of memorize and, and use it as a reference to practice. Um, because those will be the words that you'll actually need to be able to uh, pronounce and record uh, to be credentialed. So um, that's uh, a good handy reference. It is also available in the credentialing study materials folder. Um, so that's another, I just put the hyperlink there so it's easy to find if you're wanting to study. All right, uh, let's see. Guto Hitali. Hello, welcome. We are just going over the uh, syllabus and we are just looking at our handout talking about Kiowa sounds and pronunciation. Oh. Awesome. All right. So, uh, and then we have our um, help phrases that we're going to go over next. So, let me go back to the handout so we can look at it together. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. All right. So um, let's see. So to practice the sounds, for me, it's always easier to learn the sounds in context of something. So I'm wondering if we go, um, Let's see, I'm going to ask our mentors what might be, or if any of our um, level one credential teachers, if any of you have ideas on what would be the best way, because let's see, there's quite a few. What if we did like two sets at a time? Is that too much or too few? You could also do three sets, like, like say like these first three rows, but like just these words in this column, in the third column. What do you think? Oh. Okay. Do you think two rows or three rows? What would be useful? Like us just saying them or? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to um, have our, our, uh, well, we could ask our mentors if they want to pronounce it for us. And then we just practice saying them in a row. Is three too much if we did like three rows at a time? 
How many are there? Uh, let's see, three, six, no, there's 10. 10 on that page anyway. We could do what, three, three, and two and two. So then you get into the kind of the difficult sounds. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would say the first two, the ah uh, and the all, definitely uh -huh. both of those together, um, just okay. to make sure people can differentiate between the two, and then the last three all together. But the other ones, like you can do it however. Okay, cool. I like that. Yeah, I agree. These first two vowels are the most important <laughs> to be understood by a speaker. And as a speaker. So let's see, that's two. And then maybe we can do the next three, the next two, and then these three together. So, okay. Uh, so let's see. So what we usually do is, um, for anyone who's new, uh, what we usually do is we look and see who's on our Zoom and who's able to participate because sometimes, um, some people, sometimes people are just listening in. Um, so whoever wants to participate, we get everyone's names and then we kind of come up with the order. And usually it's however we appear on the screen. Um, so like for instance, uh, right now I see Angie first, but I'm not going to make Angie go first. We'll, <laughs> we'll let some of our other candidates go first. Um, and so like, let's see, right now for our learners, we have Angie Courtney, Guto Hitali, Judy, oh, there's Cricket, and Kathy, and myself. And then for our mentors, we have Miss Marion, Grandma Marthanel, and Miss Velma. And so typically what we'll do is we'll have our three mentors or whoever's on, they'll pronounce it for us and model the correct pronunciation. And then we will kind of go in order and we'll pronounce it just like they did. And we'll see how it goes. And then uh, they're able to give us feedback and let us know how we did. And they'll also correct us. And then sometimes they'll correct us. They'll stop us as we're practicing and then they'll have us repeat it. And I know for me, sometimes I've had to repeat like at least 20 times. <laughs> uh, so it's okay. That's, that's why we practice because we want to continue to refine our pronunciation. And like I said, you need to, we each need to say it over 400 times, each one to uh, become fluent. So that's our goal. Um, okay, so I wanna come up with a little word order. I just wanna check and see who out of who's here on screen on Zoom with us, who is not able to practice. I know um, I got a message, Courtney, I think you're driving, so you don't have to practice. It should be good. Oh, okay. Awesome. As long as, you, as long as I don't lose reception, but you'll know if I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to assume if you can't participate, please put your name in the chat so I know or message me directly so I know. Um, but I'm going to put the order. Practice order. And let's see, I'm gonna go, so uh, I'll start, I'll go first, um, and then I'll pass it to, let's see, who do I see next on the screen? We'll pass it to Courtney. And then we'll go to Guto Hitali. Um, and then, Oops, I'm trying to write it down and it's not working. And then we'll go to Miss Ju Miss Judy, are you able to? Oh. Awesome. And then um Sorry, I'm trying to use everyone's Kiowa names as possible. Um, Cricket, would you are you able to practice with us? Ah, 
Awesome. And then Kathy. And then Angie. Okay, so I put it in the chat. So that's the order. And we're going to have our mentors uh, say it first. So we'll go um, Grandma Martha, then we'll go to Miss Velma, and then Miss Marion. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, we're gonna start by doing the first two vowels here and we're gonna say the words that are in this third column. So there's four words here, two sets each. So um, we'll just go down the list. Togu uh, Goma, would you be able to start us off? We got turned out mute off again. Okay, the first two blocks, uh, that first sound is the all sound, all. When you're saying the word, it's gonna have that all sound to it. So it's like in the words for yes, it's hall, and is R and M is doll. Hall and doll, you hear that all in there. Hall and doll. And the second one down there is, um, um, it's kind of an A sound. A sound because it's that first word over there should or must is da da and if you were doing a sentence you would uh, say something like um dolly oh yeah and then second word is ma when you're giving something to someone handing them an item or something ma so that's your sounds in there oh uh -huh. awesome uh let's see uh miss velma would you be able to pronounce those four words for us? Okay. Aw, oh, ha, da, ah, da, and ma, ma. Ah, ho. Miss Marion, if you're able to. Okay, um, I'm going to miss something. Okay, the first one is all. And like we say, all. Or do. And the second one is all. Do. Ma. Ma. Ah, it's the A sound. And the E is A, like you say, day, day, hoy, day, 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 hoy, like you're saying, everybody. Or if you say bread, A, A, go, A. Oh. And back to all. Oh. That would be like say home oh, and say yeah. Oh, and even oh. <laughs> okay. Let me just go below. Aho. Awesome. All right. So now it's our turn. So we're going to basically just go say those four words, just the words. <clears throat> uh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh. Da, da, ma. And I'll pass it over to Da Bi. Uh oh, I think we might have lost her. Yep. <laughs> she must have lost reception. Okay, so next, Guto Hitali. Uh, oh, da, da, ma. Uh, who? Judy? Oh, da, da, ma. 
Oh. Okay. Ho, do, da, ma. Oh, Kathy? Ho, do, da, ma. All right. And Angie, you want to give it a try? Ha, da, da, ma. Uh -oh. And that was Angie's first time as a new teacher candidate. Yeah, good job. One of the things that Dane told me was kind of as saying an A through O lips when you say the A-U. <laughs> All. <laughs> Which you was kind of, you make your mouth You make your mouth kind of like an, an O, like aw and ah, aw, ah. So it's kind of funny when you're like, but if you say it in a mirror, so when you see the AU, it's a oh, like kind of a big O. And then yeah. the ah is more like ah. Or like uh, I think Grandma Dorothy said it's ha ha ha. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Ha, 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 ha. Um, and like so with Carolyn, we, we did uh, the drop in the jaw. Like we, we pitch your hair with like all. Oh. So that way you hit your, your hand goes all. Oh. So if you do the A U, it's all, oh. and then ah, you don't your you doesn't it doesn't really drop it ah, just kind of like what you said. I like that. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, when Grandma Dorothy said that, I cracked up, and I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. So that helped me kind of make a connection. Because for when I was first uh, learning, I could not for the yeah. life of me get the difference. I was yeah. like. I don't hear a difference. Like, why, why do you keep wanting me to say this? So it took, it took actually quite a while for me to get that difference. But uh, sometimes it helps because we have some really awesome uh, speech pathologists that are also Kiowa and, you know, help with the language. And so they've kind of helped to kind of come up with some of these tricks in how to pronounce the sounds. So awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, so uh, really quick, uh, let's see, did anyone want to try the pronouncing again um, to, to kind of practice the sounds? Oh, hey, there's the bean. We lost you. Do you want to uh, practice? And then um, Angie, do you want to try it again with those little tricks that we just went over? OK. Uh, cool. Uh Oh, oh, do, a, da, ma. Oh, all right. Back to you, Angie. Okay, so like you have your hand like right here, basically. Okay, so ha, da, da, ma. Oh, how how did that sound uh, for our mentors? How how did we how do we do? Good. <laughs> Woohoo! Off to a good start. Okay, um, I have to step away for a couple minutes. My girls are cooking dinner, and apparently they need my help. <laughs> so I'm gonna go uh, see what's going on, but uh. Let's see, uh, Cricket, would you be able to uh, facilitate the next? I think we wanted to try to do the next three sounds together. Um, would that be okay? I need about five minutes. If you're able to, Cricket. Hey, Thema. If not, I could see if... Uh, uh, Guto Hintali, if you're able to facilitate for a few minutes while I go 
see if the Sorry, kitchen... I, was, I was talking so yeah that's fine oh okay um, <laughs> okay all okay. right so um so we'll just do these three so we'll do um the e it's like the spanish the spanish you know vowels if you ever took spanish or french or something um so the e is an a sound and the i is an e sound a and the ai is an i sound so um what does it say um yes what does that mean yes what on what does that mean by the yes Yes, 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 yes. I don't understand that. Um, Does it have a closed English pronunciation? Okay. I don't understand that. So yeah, we have something similar sounds in English is pronunciation. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So um I guess uh, Ms. Pula, if you will start us out. And um, say the say the vowel, and then say the word "the" okay. and "a," and then um, and then "e" and the other two words, and "i" and the mm -hmm. other two words. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, a is the word there. I mean, the letter there. You're making that sound "a," so it'll be the words are "the" and "a." Um, and the next one, second one down is E, which is E and ye. And the third one is I, which is in by and I. And um, and then we see that little strike through through the um D up there and the B down there, it's kind of with that D, it's kind of like a T D sound. And then with that B, it's kind of like a P B sound. And then you'll see after some of these vowels that it has a colon, and that just means like it's drawn out, it's elongated. And Parker McKenzie used to have a, um, a, a, what is it, like a line over the vowel, but then it was too much putting over on top of the vowel, so they changed it to a colon. So um, that's just what some of those things, those, uh, things are above it. Um, or beside it. And then the AI down at the bottom where it has an up, down, the little root tile is I. So it kind of goes up and down. Um, so then who do we have? Oh, Ms. Velma. Um, would you uh, do the same thing for us too, please? Yes. Okay. Uh, like, 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 like they said, like she said, the, the E sounds like an A. Mm -hmm. A. Day means all. A. A. And then the I. The I sounds like an E. 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 No E. Ain't da. That's my son. Son or child. And then ye. Ye. That's number two. Two. And then A I sounds like I. Like. Uh, like uh, H, like I G H I, by the that B with the strike through, b, b, by that's the sun or clock, and then uh, the A I, let's see, I, Uto, let's see, I, I, that's it. I'm trying to think of a sentence. Um, um, think of, so I'm trying to think of a sentence. <laughs> Miss uh, uh, Miss Marion, what what? Uh, give us a sentence using uh, "I" when you're going off somewhere. <clears throat> hey, go, yeah, I. Hey, gog, yeah, I. Yeah. See. Okay. I'm gone. You're going off. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Would hey you girl, say? Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, go let, let, hey go, yeah, I. It's like if I said, 
Well, it means like you've left. It's kind oh. of sort of past. Anyway. Oh, in past tense. Okay. All right. Um, okay, would you mind doing the same thing? Um, or if you want to, it might be neat to go ahead and say uh, sentences with these if you can think of them off the top of your head. Are you asking me? Paul. Oh. oh, okay. They, that ease is like a, a day, boy. A ba, they were a ton. Okay. Means uh, everybody can. And A for bread or A for A ball is fruit. A, well, A ball is bread too. Mm -hmm. A ball is, uh, anyway, that's grains and fruits. Oh. And call, call A ball. A, oh. Bring me a piece of bread. Oh. And then this uh, E, I, sounds like an E. Because if you say, I eat your son, mm -hmm. and he, ye day, or ye hong tong, it's two at you, ye. Mm -hmm. And the AI is like you say, bye, 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 ball day. Mm -hmm. And bye, no, your day, that means standing under the sun. Mm -hmm. And go, I get one of the eye. That's okay. <laughs> Well, I said, I go. That was good. I go. Okay. okay. Oh, well. oh. All right. That was good. I like that. All right. Um. Okay. Melody is back. Uh. I mean, Gom Gidagima is back. Uh. Did you want to go ahead and start off with the words or the the vowel and the words? Oh. I'll start and then I'll pass it over to Thambi and then we'll oh. go down our list. Oh. All right. A, they, A, E, E, Ye, I, Bye, I. Um, Thambi. Okay. A, A, they, A, E, 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 I, I, I. They, A, E, E, by, I. Am I after him? Uh, let's see. I think. Uh, oh, it's uh, Judy. Okay, I thought it was after Cricket. Uh -huh. And then Cricket, then you. Okay, Judy, sorry. They, A, E, E, Bye, I. A, they, E. Oh, E. A. Now I do E. E, ye, I, by, I. Kathy. A, day, A, E, E, ye, I, by, I. Oh, and then I think Angie. Day A E E by 
I. Oh. Uh -huh. um, one thing I know we haven't gone over the consonants yet, but that first word uh, with, so anytime you see a consonant with a line through it or a bracket in front of it, that's um, kind of a, what we call like a combined consonant sound. So it's, it's a unique sound to Kiowa. So it's basically a T and a D put together, I guess is one way to explain it. So it's uh, that D strike through is kind of like if you make a TH sound, but then you also say a D sound at the same time. So they, it's kind of like you say, like when you're trying to say in English, they put a little D there and stop your tongue short and say they, 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 they. So it's uh, a little tricky to say, but uh, that's one of the consonants that we have is the blended yeah thank you cricket the blended uh td has a strike through so it's a d strike through and then a a b strike through is a b and a p and you see that down there with the sun bye bye so it's like a p and a b put together I just kind of the, oh sorry to interrupt the kind of some common words that you'd be able to hear growing up where these sounds really come to mind is like do day for shoe or shoes, do day. So it's not do day with a regular D or to day. It's do day, the do day. And then same thing for the men greeting one another. Uh, of course, uh, Mild wouldn't usually say this, but how men usually say Bobby. It's not Bobby or Pobby, Bobby. So that ba, that PB, ba, Bobby or bye. They Oh, aho. Good tips, good tips. Hopefully that helps. Um, oh hey, I see we have Carlo also logging in. Um, welcome, Carlo. We are going over, we went over the syllabus for the fall sessions, and this is uh the handout under the pronunciation uh for session one for July 31st. Um, so it's hyperlinked, so hopefully you'll be able to access it and print it off if you want. But uh, we're basically going through and pronouncing the sounds of Kiowa. And th these are also the words that we each needed to pronounce and record ourselves saying to get credentialed for level one. So that's what we're doing right now. So um, I don't know if you want to hop into the rotation. We are... Let me put it in the chat again. We're just kind of going, uh, having our mentors say the sounds, and then we are each taking a turn pronouncing them as well. So let me, uh, so Carla, would you like to jump into the rotation? Oh. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna add you to the list and I'll put it in the chat. Okay, so uh, let's go to the next set. So this time, let's see, we want to do these last three together. So we're going to do these next two sounds. So four words. So the uh, O and then the OO sounds. So I'm going to turn it over to our mentors. Uh, oh, okay. That first word is DO for house and YO for Fright, to be frightened. And the next one is goon, to dance or throw something away. And then goo is to hit someone. My battery's about to go out. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to plug it in here. <laughs> I'm plug it in. Awesome. Um, uh, Ms. Velma? Now. Okay. Um. Oh. To. To kill. To. Yo. 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 Hunde zelbe. And then oo. Kun. Kun. Kun gya ba. Gu. A gu. Hey. A gu. Hit him. 
Uh -huh. uh, Miss Marion? Uh, so. Hey, over. Do. Do. And you. Okay, do is house, like do to it, and hate it. Go into the house. Yo, Honda Zelo Bay. Yo, Guyo, son. And you, Goon. A Goon, I'm going to the dance. Or I Goon. Let's see, talk. Um, I don't know, goo, goo. A uh, goo. It's hit it. Oh, oh. you just have the two. Okay. I'm finished. Aho. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aho. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. go. Oh, do. Yo. Ooh, gun, goo, goo. Dobby? Oh, do, yo, ooh, gun, goo. Oh, good to he tell me. Do, yo, hey, goon, goo. Ah, who? Judy? Hola. Oh, oh. oh. do, yo, u, goon, u, goo. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, do, yo, u, goon, goo. Uh -oh. Do you want to tell someone to go? Oh. <laughs> I added her to the list. Oh, okay, at the end, okay. Ready? Oh. oh. Do. Is that oh, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yo, uh, ooh, goo, and goo. Uh -ho. <clears throat> um, let's see, Angie, over to you. Do, do, yo. Goon, go. Oh, hello. So, yo, goon, go. Oh, it's all summer. So, yo, goon, goo. Aho. All right, uh, mentors, any feedback for us? I did good. <laughs> Aho. All right, now the last three on this page, these are where it gets kind of tricky, so... Be prepared. Some of us are still practicing these. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back to Togu uh, Koma. Okay. Um, that first one is the Ui sound. It's Gui for wolf. And Ui is, means over there, a distance away from you. And the second one is um, Oi and uh, Doi. And then the last one is um, 
doi. It's got the oi sound in it. Doi. And an oi for many. Okay. <clears throat> oi. Gui. Gui. Oi. 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 So in ba. Oi. So in ba. Um. Oi. Doi. Oi. Doi. Oh. And then. Doi. Oi. Doi. And uh, oi, mini, oi, oi. Ui, ui, so, ui, so, doi, doi. Did I, did I say that right? That too much, um, uh, Martha? Mini, the last doi. one? Yeah. Say that again. Doi. And that many is oi. Like, oi. Like oi. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, what's that D O I? Too much. It means like, um, I'm in doi You know. Oh, like, oh okay. Like well, it's kind of confusing, though, huh? <laughs> not not doi, not medicine. The one above, uh -uh. The one above, yeah. above too much. Uh -huh. I know oi is a lot. Right, yeah. and then or oi over there, but the do do doi what? Doi, it's just doi. Can you can you do it in a sentence? Uh -huh. I can get doi alma, and somebody's doi. putting on too many airs or something. Okay, doi alma, doi doi. Okay, uh -huh. I, uh, I, I, I I understand Kiowa, but you know even some of these words are kind of confusing. Doi, doi. It's got and the more of the O sound in that last doi, one. Is doi, doi, doi is medicine. Doi, yeah. doi, 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 doi. Okay, yeah, Mel uh, Melody's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got that from Dane. Dane was trying to help me figure out the difference between these two, the O-I and the A-U-I. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you say the word doughy, like something's too doughy, and you <laughs> isolate the last sound, that kind of sounds like the oe, the oi, mm -hmm. oe, oe. And then the oi is more like you draw it out. It's kind of like the English oy, like if you like boy or toy, that uh, last sound is kind of the aui is kind of like that. So that kind of helped me figure out the difference. But for years, I think it took probably about 10 years. <laughs> to figure out the difference. Aho, aho, Miss Thelma. Uh, Miss Marion, would you like to say these for us? Okay. Ui. For gooey. Wolf. Gooey. Um, I think. Okay, then. Uh, Gooey, it's wolf. Gooey, hope, go. Gooey, walking home. Gooey, over there. Gooey, so. Oh, he's over there. Oi. Oi. Over there. And you've got alternate pronunciation. For what? What's this over there? And over there is the same thing. Who it so? Oi, so. Oi. Oi. Who it so. Oh. Oi. Because to me, oi sounds like an oh, oi. And doi. Doi. I'm do uh, I'm get doyo. <laughs> so I say, really making it bad, making it worse. 
ってこいやろ、まあ。うん。じゃあ、ああ。じゃあ、どうぞ、ゲーヒー、どうぞ。メルセンメン。おい。まあいい。くしよくしさん。あんおい。あんおい。That just means there's a lot. Okay, I'll leave it out. I think I said that for oil. I can't do it. There's a lot. Um, do we want to go ahead with individuals? Courtney, do you want to go ahead and start? Uh. Huh. Okay. Oi, gooey, oi, 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 doi, oi, doi, oi. Okay. Um, who is? I think y'all all know your rotation. Oh, I'm gonna go slow on these ones. Oh. Oi, like, gooey. All right, how they say? Gui guru te. Then oi. Or, oh, sorry, didn't do the ui. Ui so. Ui de. Oi. Oi so. Oi de. Doi. Doi. Then doi. Doi. And then oi. Oi. That's the other one we call. We use your hand again, we can drop it. So the doi can use your hand. Oh. Who is next? Okay. Um, ooey. 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 Oi. Oi. Doi. Oi. Dowie, Dowie, and Oi. Oi. Drop that. Dowie and Oi. Dowie and Oi. Do the Dowie and Dowie. Do you want to practice that, Judy? The difference between doi and doi. Doi. The O I is the oi. 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 Doi. And the last one. Um, oi. It's the A W. Kind of an A W. Yeah. Or A U sound. Oi. Yeah. Oi. Doi. And oi. Doi. Did you hear the difference, Miss Pula? Yes. Okay. You have to make that all sound on those last ones. So say like doi. like doi. Okay. Doi is medicine. Like um get doi on. Somebody's providing the medicine or maybe medicine man or something. Doi on. Or doi on key or something like that. Doi. Just have to practice with some words with it and it'll probably help you more. Doi, you want to say that, Judy? Doi armor. Doi armor. Doi armor. Doi. 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 Do
Doi. Um, okay. I'm after you, right? Okay. So, ooey, gooey, like gooey tongue, like um, wolf tail. Ooey, ooey te, like over there. Then, owey, owey, doey, doey. Then, doy, and oi. Was that bet? Was that okay? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying here. Right. Goy, 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 gooey, 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 yeah, gooey, <laughs> gooey, 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 Doy. Oh, we, oh, we, right? Well, that I didn't, I didn't do that one. I'm just doing the <laughs> words here. I'm not doing the, the other ones. So, oi, doy, doy, and oi. Go gooey oi oi doi doi is it like you're dropping your jaw on that second to last one? Oh doi 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 and then oi ah oh, you got it. Miss Say the medicine, the medicine one again. Doi, like you're, is it like you're dropping your jaw more? Doi, 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 oi, doi, 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 doi. Some people like to think of it almost as like a W in there. For some reason, it helps them. Doi, doi. Yeah. Okay. If you're if you're sick and you go and see your doctor, you say you're going to see Doyomki. 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 Doy. Doyom. Doyomki. But this oh. one, this one is just for medicine, right? So we don't want to confuse her. <laughs> this is medicine, but a medicine man is doyom doyom key, but this is You're like a doctor. But that you I'm trying to get her to say the whole pronunciation so that she hears it and not to confuse it with that one on top of it too much. Doy and doyom doyom doy. So it goes like doy and then doy. So, like the second to last one, you like have the W kind of in it. Um, excuse me, boy. Um, Martha, it seems to me, doy, it sounds the same, you know, with the D O I. And doy is the same, you know, sound for medicine. Doy. No, I mean that word above it? That word above it? Yeah, oi, that boy, doy, oi. That mark doi. over that O oh, makes the difference in there. Oh, it just deep in sort of O I. Yeah, but still has a similar story. Are you are you forming the mouth in the O and then forming the mouth in the uh like a oh. drop draw like that call? Oh. Yeah, like the Oh, it's got to be in there, that AU. Hmm. Boy. I wonder if some people say it, some people say it a little bit differently or something. So that O and that I, do some people say OE and some people say OI? Oh, that first one is OI. DOI. It's just DOI. Do it just means it's too, too much of something, whatever you're talking about. 
That's why it's yeah, different. So when they say you know, <clears throat> medicine, they say joy. No. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Doi. Joy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He. Doi. Doi. <clears throat> when I <clears throat> sometimes when I see that and I'm I kind of have trouble pronouncing it, I just say like, oh yeah, boy, doi, mm -hmm. boy, and then doi, yeah. doi, kind of like boy. I, I see that too as oive, like oi, you know, the Jewish oive, you know. Uh huh. Oi, 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 oi. I don't know if you guys ever heard of oive. Oi. I like how you said it, Miss Velma. So, like right here, the D O I is like B O Y, you know, boy, boy, boy. Mm -hmm. And it all comes from the the looking over here at the sound O I and A U I. You have to remember those sounds. Mm -hmm. I and oi. Mm -hmm. Not O E, but oi. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Okay. All right. All right. Who was next? We finished. Was it Kathy? Oh, Angie. Oh. Okay. We did Kathy. We did, is it Angie? And then next is Carlo. Oh. Boy. Oi, 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 doi, oi. Hey Matt, we needed to do the UI in it. Yeah, so the top one, we started with ooey and ooey. So yeah, we oi. started with wolf. Yeah, we started with ooey, ooey. Then oi, doi, and doi, and oi. Did y'all, I'm sorry, I'm getting just bad feedback on my, on my end, on my software. Oh, okay. We Have started little... with wool, with gooey. All right. Gooey, or yeah. oi, 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 I'm sorry. Click, repeat. Oi. Ooh. Doi. Doi. The UI is Yui. Yui. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> the UI Ooh. is. And then you got Gooey. And Gooey. Ah. So, 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 Oi. Oi. Doi, 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 no, doi, and oi, and oi. Oh, oh. Sorry, England. Doi, doi. Oi, doi, doi, and oi. All right, so what do we have next? Is that it? That's all I have on my screen. Uh, I think Melody's sharing the screen, so if she's able, if she's not back yet, I know the she has like the next page to scroll down to. But I believe it's the same exact ones, but with the nasal in. So yeah, nasal in. Are you able to share, Ramon? Uh, I can if I log in on my computer. I'm on my uh work phone right now. I can. Well, if I try to hop on my computer, we still got to wait for Melody to let me in. So yeah, because it says I can't share. Okay. 
because I think she's only host and no one's co-host. Um, uh, let me ask. Let me see if I can ask her. Um, um, we could wait as far as like the terms to use, because I know the the first one was the AU. So AU nasal ends like on. So you could say like an on, like give it or don for uh, a brother or well for me, sister or that don. Mm -hmm. And then the A nasal N. So like that. Ah, and ah. Uh huh. I've heard. Okay. And then, Do you want to lead in something until she, until she pops back on and lets one of us share? I oh okay there she is all right okay sorry about that took me a little bit um do you want me to um, I stop sharing in case you want to share your screen okay um okay I don't know what I, I haven't oh. pulled it yet don't in let's see hold on we were just yeah. needing to. The next to the next the page or wherever you needed us to go. Oh, okay. Cool. Let me pull back up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So the nasal, nasal sounds. Yeah. Um <clears throat> so let's see. I know. So we're supposed to we're scheduled to go till 8 30, and we're about five minutes over. Oh, I want okay. to respect All everyone's right. time. But we can uh, pick this up uh, next week mm -hmm. and then, you know, just kind of work through it now that we kind of have a system. So um, would, I wonder before we log off, if our mentors are able to, or if someone can pronounce just this first column, just the sound for us. So we have it in the recording and then, uh, and then we can practice and then pick up on this page next week how's that sound um so good coma is uh would you be able to just uh read through this the list of sounds this just this first column and then uh that way we can get get it on the recording and we can practice for the week oh okay okay that first one is oh Oh, and the second one is ah, ah. Third one is a, a. That one is a, a, more of an e sound. And the next one is a, um, a. Next one is o, o. And that next one under UN sound is um, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then ooh, ooh. and oi, and the last one is oi, oi, and it's got the N sound on it. It's almost like you're cutting off that N when you say it. You're just saying the first part of it, but that sound comes in there with the with the nasal N. Oh, oh, um, let's see. Do either of our other mentors want to just just say the sounds for us? All right, awesome. Okay, so we will pick up on this page so we can practice, uh, and then we're going to actually go over these. We'll say practice doing what we did today and pronounce our words. And then we'll get into this page, which is going through the different uh, consonant sounds and listening for the differences. So, all right, let me stop sharing. Um, so again, we went over the syllabus. So hopefully uh, you all are able to uh, check out the syllabus when you get a chance. Um, 
the there are QR codes on there for uh, the resources in case you want to print it off and access the resources on your phone or device, your tablet. Um, so for next week, uh, we're going to finish the sounds and then we're going to go into our help phrases and get our help phrases practice. Um, so that's for next week. Um, does anyone have any questions or any questions for any of our mentors that are with us? Next time we come back, can we go over the too much in medicine again? Pronunciation. I feel like that was really a struggle. Yeah, I need it for me too. <laughs> Aww. Same here. Yeah, we can, we can go by, back over those last three that we just practiced. We can start with doy that. Doy and boy. <laughs> doy and boy, I think that was a good one. Doy and boy, and then, and then doy. That one, like doy, doy. Anyway. <laughs> so keep practicing. We'll all be standing in front of the mirror this week, practicing our sounds. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Um, to close our session, uh, let's see. I'm wondering if, uh, oh, uh, any other comments or questions before we close up? Uh, I I did have a question, but it can be saved for after the prayer. Um, so it's it's just to Carlo. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna see if uh, Miss Marion. Are you able to, would you like to uh, say our closing prayer? Oh. Sorry, I had to get in and turn it TV down. I mean, oh, I mean, doggy, 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 Go, I think, go, they don't. They taught it. Don't call. Tell. Don't want to. Ain't a key. Go, I said. Go, go, I don't get. Or, I go, I don't get. Go, I don't get. Go, go, I don't get. Go, I don't get. I get so hot and And yeah, a hoi back those on my go get on me. Oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 they were talking. Oh, boy, good boy. Got they, they go big dog on the top of the day. And they keep, they go going. They go, they hate me. And I, and I can't, and I can't talk. I can't eat all. Dog, eat, no, 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 Oh, they, I'm um, 
each side they're dying. Heal thee. Yeah, heal Goliath. Hey, girl, I got the omni dog. I'm filled with dog. I'm filled with the 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 Oh. Oh, appreciate that. Awesome. Well, the recording will be posted. Um, I'll get it posted over the weekend so you can practice and reference back to it if you want. And other than that, um, I'll leave the room open for a little bit in case anyone has any questions. And then we'll um, go ahead and see everyone on next Wednesday. So I hope everyone has a good week. Um, so... Oh. Yeah, Monday. Um, I want to make an announcement that instead of second Monday, I'm having school supply distribution second Monday. So we're going to have class third Monday in August. So FYI, if you either come at seven o'clock or join us at eight o'clock on Zoom, we'll be having it third Monday at District 7 or on Zoom. Um, third Monday. Okay. The what? The 19th? Um, let me look at my calendar whenever third Monday is. Uh, ha, third Monday, the 19th. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, Carlo, are you, still, are you still on? Oh. Uh, when, when was that event? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Um, hey, I just want to uh, give a invite to whoever can make it, but tomorrow uh, we'll be having a uh, meet and greet. Um, how would you say it? Uh, meet and greet between uh, recognition between the law and public schools and the uh, Kawa tribe, um, how you say it, uh, Kawa tribe of Oklahoma, the, uh, how would you say, the governmental branch, the executive branch, business committee, would you say? Okay. So it's it's going to start tomorrow at 11 o'clock. It's going to be at the LRC building here in Lawton. It's going to be, um, like I said, a, a get to uh, get caught up on a lot of um topics to cover uh, and, and then just form a dialogue between the uh, school district here in Lawton and the Kawa tribe. Is it going to be about like what you're going to be teaching or what um, or what parents want you what you know what they want you to cover or is it just other stuff? It's going to be it's going to be other stuff it's going to be um I, it's going to be other other topics between uh, more so on the on the governmental end on what what they have questions on pertaining to uh, Kiowa language not not just Kiowa language but uh, to give them a a ideal of um, how the um, state Senate passed that bill in twenty twenty two. What passed what bill? The uh the language for Native Americans here in Oklahoma. What? I don't know what what bill was that. What bill was that? The time of the month. I don't know what bill that was. Are you talking about um are you talking about just uh uh passing Kiowa just like uh allowing Kiowa to be considered a world language or 
No, it was just a, a uh, how would you say it for uh, ad, ad administration and uh, administration level of the uh, public school here in Lawn and the uh, executive branch and the uh, governmental branch of Kiowas to formulate a um, ideal of who's who amongst our uh, Kiowa tribal officials. Oh, are you talking about the ESSA, the Secondary Education Act, uh, tribal consultation between public schools and tribes in the area? The yeah, it's, yeah, it, 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 it's it's modeled in that in, in that area. And that's what the uh, the admin level here at Lawton will be uh, will be able to answer those type of questions for the tribe. Oh, well, that's awesome. That's really yeah. good. I know. Anna Darko does that. Um, they consult, uh, I think they do it at least once a year, uh, where they yeah. consult with all the different tribal leaders in the in the area. Yeah. Are and the, tribal, we, uh, Title VI? Like what we uh, do? Yeah, it, I think, I think it's, it's, yeah, it's the ESSA funding. The new the new bill that was passed, the new law in uh, 2022. Yeah, I, that's that, under that ESSA Act. Oh yeah, because all title was that's what we have to do for our Title VI grants. Oh. We have to have tribal we have to have tribal consultation. Um with all with the tribes within fifty mile radius um and, of our tribe. So and, that's what you're talking about, Carlo? Yeah, yeah, and that's gonna be okay. Okay. in it and just kind of get an idea like between, you know, the you know, at uh, with, with the with the government of the uh Kaaba tribe. You know, tribal officials. That way, they know who's who between Long Public School, because we have three high schools up here. We mm -hmm. have four middle schools. Oh, and in total, we got you know well over you know easily a dozen. You know, and and, and I would say a dozen more like fifteen schools here and here in Lawn. Mm -hmm. So where I'm at at Long MacArthur, we got over easily over a thousand students. So that mm -hmm. way. Uh, uh, in this format, it'll, it'll give you know the tribe a ideal of you know who they need to reach out to, who they need to contact to on any yeah. type of uh, questions may arise on their end. So that's what 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 I'm doing. I'm just building a connection block between, like I said, LPS here at Long Public Schools and the uh, government of the uh, Kaaba tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, because we have it. Our metro area has it with um like uh we have it with thirteen tribes in our metro area. We have like <laughs> eight Indian Eds that come oh, together, yeah. and then we have it with thirteen tribes. Yes, so. yeah. I mean, up in the metro, yeah, y'all y'all's heavily populated, you know, like intertribal type stuff. But that that's yeah. good, and that's what we're just going to do tomorrow. I mean, yeah. thinking of y'all, if y'all show up, man, I'd be glad to have y'all support here. Um, just to, just to see in this uh, progress of the uh, the progression of the Kaaba language, you know, we could talk about a, a topic that, you know, affects all of us, you know, each and every one of us, you know, that was a part of tonight's class or that wasn't, you know, that where our grandparents come from, what they had had to go through, you know, because they spoke their language. And now here is being presented, you know, right across, you know, I would just three miles from my house, there's Fort Sill Indian School. And then you got Riverside Indian School, you know, Riverside is still in operation, but boarding schools and language, it's it's kind of a, a hard topic to to digest, but it's still at the forefront and to know where it's it's at now, not not just among Kiowas, but other tribes that that have this opportunity to gain this recognition and show the strength of our sovereignty. If they're supporting us in this in this um uh, in this direction of knowing who we are as a people, you know, under Dalkey that he well he had created, you know. Yeah. And the cool thing is is that it's at Fort Sill and Lawton, you know. <laughs> so we're kind of reversing what you know has happened. So that's I mean, we're trying to reverse it, you know, what's happened. Oh, that's yeah. exciting. That's really exciting. I hope it goes well tomorrow, Carlo. 
hope that all works. I wish I could support, but I got an appointment in the morning at 11. So I'll think of you. Yeah. I know I'm taking Angel to the airport at 11. So, oh, hey, hey, no, hey, no biggie. You know, it's it's that's just this time of year on the uh, you know, in, in the in the school system, everything gets busy, enrollment, meetings, training, seminars, conferences, and this is the only day that I had open up on both sides of the uh, how would you say on both sides of the of the of the uh, leadership officials on both ends for the Kyle's and LPS. Hey, when does y'all oh. school start? The 14th of August. Okay. It's, like, oh, it's awesome. about the same time as us. When does your school start, Melody? Uh, we start August 8th. So next Thursday. Okay, start a week for us. Okay. Um, I wanted to put a plug in for, um, I know I talked about it a couple weeks ago. I want to do some sessions in the month of August on Tuesdays and Thursdays to kind of do some uh, curriculum mapping and lesson planning uh, for yeah. any Kiowa language teachers okay. that are teaching this year. Um, so I'll send the invite out to um, everyone that I can think of that's credentialed at level one and um, or level two and teaching. Um, but it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays starting uh, next Tuesday and it'll be from seven to 8 p.m. on Zoom. And just just a chance to just you know chat and share with each other and brainstorm and i know that uh what i need to do what i'm working on this week is finishing up my uh because i'm teaching two levels of kiowa this year so i'm teaching uh level one and level three and so i need to um what i've been doing is taking all of my unit plans and my lesson plans for uh level one from last year and updating them for this year for level one. And then I have to create level two. Um, I already have some really cool like projects, uh, some ideas for the level two, um, but I also wanted to kind of talk through how I approach teaching and kind of how I differentiate between the interpretive, interpersonal and presentational tasks for each unit um, and kind of the activities that I have the kids do um and the the target language and so this is my this is just an example on screen of my unit plan so i have uh we do three units per semester so we'll do three units in uh fall and then the next three units in spring and so this shows how my course uh connects to each of the oklahoma world language standards um and again you know of course the target language is kiowa and then i have lesson plans that start here and um so I go through, they're structured um, with all my accommodations and resources and handouts and things. Um, and then I have a little handout at the end of each week that shows, uh, this is what I post for the students. So the students get, uh, they see this and then I reference these, you know, kind of the more in-depth pages, but yeah. they po I post this in the classroom so they can always see all right, what are we doing today? What are we doing tomorrow? So this is what the student sees for their assignments and their due dates and things. And then I use the lesson plan for all my details and the different, you know, to plan the activities. So that's kind of how, um, how, how I do it. And so I wanted to kind of spend some time to have each of us who are teaching kind of share with each other and, you know, bounce ideas off each other. And I'm really open to ideas for my level two. Um, one idea that I'm thinking for a uh, level two for the first unit, um, my first unit is all about getting started. So kind of like what we what we did today, like where we practice the sounds and we do our help phrases and we just kind of figure out what is Kiowa language, what's language revitalization, why does it matter? Um, but one thing that um, we wanted to do with level two, since I have um, six students, um, well, actually I was told there's now 10, but <laughs> I was thinking of like the six students I knew that were continuing. Um, so apparently I have 10 students in level two and then 40 students in level one. Um, mm -hmm. So I have two classes that I'm teaching for each. Um, but uh, one of the English teachers reached out to me and she wants to do Native American stories for origin stories in September. And um, so I talked, she asked if we had any in Kiowa, any Kiowa origin stories that we could share. And so, <laughs> so I thought about when we did that outreach and, oh, Courtney had to jump off, but um, I know 
Grandma Marty, you were you helped us out with that translation too, and Miss Velma. Uh, the story of the sun, like Saint Day brings mm -hmm. the sun. Yeah. Uh, so we have that little children's book, you know, that we made. And so mm -hmm. what I thought about doing for my level two students is having um them start off by practicing that book and coming up with a little skit that uses that book, and then they would go and present it to the English class. And so the English class could hear Kiowa and then they could read the translations and that would be one origin story. So it would be like a project that um, my level two students could do. So anyway, that was my idea. So we'll see. The English teacher is super excited because basically I, I'll get to teach her class for a, a, a day. <laughs> she doesn't right. have to teach for that day, but um, hopefully my students yeah, will be excited too to do that project. Right. Yep, there anyway. you go. A few minutes. Well, I'm excited. Right. I want to take... I'm so scared oh, yeah. to, I, I want to find, I want to get organized enough where I can teach, you know, at Western Heights. I just so top heavy with yeah. administration. I can't ever find it where I can get organized enough where I can teach, you know, carve out, you know, an hour and a half where I can teach, you know, as I don't care. <laughs> I keep trying to like, can I get organized where I can teach a class, you know? We'll see. Keep trying to get there. But I'm that scared. would be amazing. I don't have, I mean, I would probably, I don't know if I'd have a Kiowa in my, you know, I don't know if I would have a Kiowa in my class and maybe I'd have one Indian, you know. <laughs> one well, or I have mostly uh, CNAs. I have mostly Cheyenne and Arapahoes and a couple Kiowas here and there. I have some Choctaws, some uh, Chickasaws, some uh, Apaches, some Zuni Pueblo even. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, and then I have some uh, Hispanic students, some students who are fluent first language Spanish speakers uh -huh. that really love the chance to take a language other than Spanish. So uh, they're really excited about that. But hey, you know, the more people we get speaking Kiowa, the less likely our language is to disappear. So I tell all my students, you're a part of language revitalization. You're you're going to be the reason why it comes back. So <laughs> I just think that what's going to happen is they're just going to put counselors are going to just stick people in because of scheduling. And that will be a problem. You know, that happens. That and happens. That will be a problem because I will be frustrated with kids that don't want to be in there. <laughs> right. And they'll be like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Yeah. I had some of those students uh, yeah. last year. A couple uh -huh. students that were just kind of like, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> like <laughs> they just put me here. I I know that will happen and, you know, I will not be happy with it. Uh, Dane gets a lot of that at OU. He gets a lot of like the football players that take yeah. his classes, like Kiowa 1 and Kiowa 2, because <laughs> they think it's easy. Um, but hey, I had my students that didn't want to be there in the beginning of the year. By the end of the year, they knew how to make fry bread and they have performed at the uh, language fair. So oh. it's like, yeah. <laughs> well, then I need to learn how to make fry bread. <laughs> because <laughs> I still have so, learned. Yeah. I'm like hey it's a win and some of them are actually signed up for my level two so I'm like well you know I guess I guess they learned something <laughs> so we'll see we'll see but anyway uh, be on the lookout I'll send an invite for Tuesdays and Thursdays for that okay. one hour for the month of August for anyone who wants to just you know share about teaching and bounce ideas off each other so I, I kind of model, modeled the community class a little bit like how, you know, I listened to everybody um about, you know, just, but I, you know, how you modeled, I listened to how you told me how you did your bell ringer and things like that. So I have a, I do like a little quiz at the beginning of our class. um And it's, uh, you know, so I start because we start at seven and then I have to get online at eight. So um, we don't do introductions until we get online at eight and I do introductions at eight. So that way we can, instead of doing introductions twice, we do introductions at eight when everybody's there. So I do a quiz at seven and, um, and that is, you know, um, I just, you know, I'll say, um, you know, and so people have to act it out and uh bay mon beetle or you know bay hall bay saw you know something like that and they have to act it out and so um so we do that we do a little quiz um 
maybe we'll do kinship or we'll do um uh and, and we'll do conversation and um and then um uh then we get and then you know while i'll get pe i'll get on with our online people and uh and go over some what we did in class and people will eat while i'm going over what we did in class and then we do hymns and so and that's our two hours you know we'll do and so this oh fyi um so last year we did a full year of funeral hymns and this year i want everybody to think about um bring in a family song and having recorded a family hymn and we'll um uh our family uh, song, not a hymn, but a family, or it might be a hymn, but a family song and ha trying to have the words written down. And so we can do family songs. And so this year I want to do fa uh, do a family song uh, for our song during our online person. So, so or Ohama song. So that's kind of what I want to do this year. Oh, oh, that's awesome. That would be amazing. I know so a lot of people good. that would really appreciate that opportunity. So that's my my thought for this year. All right. Very cool. Uh, hey, uh, Cricket, is that the District 7 class? I know that, um, do you know if uh, they're going to post it on Facebook on like the different groups like they usually do? Yeah, Tara always makes a flyer and she usually posts it she's already she's already posted this one on facebook and she sends it out on constant contact and then um i think uh uh warren has the one in tulsa and i think he has it every other week or once a month i don't know um but he has his one in tulsa and it's like beginning with sounds and it's very simple he has beginning ones and he does it on zoom so. Oh, awesome. And she posts that too, I think. Exciting. Well, everyone be on the lookout for those. And then uh, I think uh, when they share that District 7, if you can find that flyer, it'll have like the Zoom link on it as well. And then uh, um, Julia has hers. Julia and George has hers every Monday. And hers is in person, and then they live stream it, I think, on Facebook, I think. They live stream it every Monday, but and that's every Monday, and they live stream it. And I think she does hymns, too. So I think, I don't know what time hers start. Guto Hintali, what time does hers start? Seven or six? Uh... Thanks, seven. Hold on, let me just let me ask my brother. Thank God. I, I, like, I know they put he out goes, a, he goes they put a calendar out, I think. Yeah. Right? Oh, and then also uh, Bert Pata has an in person one. If anybody lives in the Shawnee area, he has an in person one. So we have classes all over the place now. <laughs> and uh, he has an in person one at the Potawatomi Center with uh with um Kiowas that are around the Potawatomi area in Shawnee. So he has about, I don't know, five or six Potawatomi uh, Kiowas. <laughs> That's awesome. So I work around there with uh with uh with what what's Kiowatomies <laughs> Kevin said. <laughs> Kiowatomies. Well Aww. what's so calm. Uh, what's what's his name? Uh, gosh, horse. Um, I can't think of his name. Oh, if uh, Carolyn was on here, she would remember. Oh, it's at six. So, uh, Julia's is at six, and uh -huh. and I uh, I think Bert's. Oh yeah, uh, he's he's the oldest Kiowa, the one that um uh Bert has Bert Pata has over there at the pot of water oh, that's awesome lucky <laughs> he's the one that got there with that um when they saw it when they um chainsawed that buffalo <laughs> oh yeah quick Chester. comment Chester. Oh. that's it Chester 
quick comment. Hi. When you were saying that, there's Kiowa all over now. But you know what? The KLCRP program has had an impact. I mean, uh, uh, before that, how many, how many, uh, sessions were there in teaching Kiowa and now they're, they're all over, you know, so if it has had an impact and Melody, thank you so much for, and the people you worked with for that program, because I think it's made a big difference because our language is, is not going to die. <laughs> it's going to be here. So I hold to you guys for all that hard work. Obaha. Mm -hmm. uh -ho. Well, thank you to everyone who contributed and continues to contribute and to, you know, for all of our mentors that are here with us and meet with us every week. I mean, just, it's, it's amazing. That's what I keep telling our kids is it'll be up to them, you know, cause we're passing it, passing it along. We're doing what we can and then it'll be up to them to carry it on. But, um, I like to think that we're, we're living, um, according to what all the elders from the Kiowa culture program tapes like to talk about that they recorded those for us, for us as the future Kiowas. Um, so I always like listening to them because, you know, when they say things like that, it's like, oh, that's, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Are you still doing the Sunday sessions once a month or anything? Oh, yeah, I think you joined after we had just uh, got done looking at the syllabus, but um, we will be starting up the uh, sessions. Um, where is it? I was gonna look for my, I think I closed it down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll be starting our Sunday sessions again, uh, because last week, um, our mentors all shared that they'd really, they really appreciate that. And we want to have that opportunity. So, um, let me share my screen again really quick. And so it's all the way on the last page of the syllabus. So page, I think, um, yeah, page nine, actually. So uh, Sunday sessions will be held every other Sunday this fall. And the first session will be Sunday, August 11th from okay. 3 to 5 p.m. And uh, I did that because I had to avoid the holidays and also uh, Tone Cone that, <laughs> that's going to be happening. Uh, we don't want to conflict with that. So um, and then our last Sunday session for the fall will be December 15th. And then we take a break until after January 8th, and then we'll pick up again. Okay. Um, so yeah, this, and it's, the information is here, the QR code to log in. Um, and if you're on my mailing list, mailing list um, I'll be sending, emailing this out um, and inviting you. So yeah, they'll be recorded. And so everyone start thinking of the topics of what you want to listen to or what you want to talk about for August 11th. So we can start those up again. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. awesome. Thank you for the updates, everyone. Aho de bat ha. All right. All right. Enjoyed listening to everybody. They owned a bot sign for everybody that came on. Enjoyed seeing all the new people, Angeline and seeing Carlo again. Congratulations, Carlo, for being on in Lawton. Good to see you. They owned a son. Oh, oh I hope. Have a good week. Oh, I'm saddled.